Thank you very much. So good morning. So we designed 10 years ago uh, to reinvent the application of the use of the same foin through a new uh, innovation. And we joined uh, the legume LCA and legume proof through uh, Mr. Host from INRA. So um, let's go uh, in uh, open fields because some foin can provide so many, many opportunities tomorrow for our farming. So it's very well known, the Saint-Foin is very well known in, in France since the 16th century. And it's already mentioned that it was a healthy crop. And uh, you can also find uh, Saint-Foin as Esparcet in Italy or in the south of France. But it doesn't grow everywhere. So in France, you can find few spots like in Champagne, in Languedoc, or in Poitou, where it grows. But obviously, it disappeared like in England since the Second World War in 1970s that you didn't find any Saint-Foix anymore. And unfortunately, we lost all our accession. So um, the innovation was to transform in pellets. So you should know I come from a, a big sugar beet area and we've got deshydratation plants for the pulp. And uh, we used to grow luzerne. We've got 80,000 hectares of luzerne to produce alfalfa pellets. So the idea was to use this plant and to, use the, to review the application of Saint-Foin and to improve the concentration of uh, tan condensing tannin. And we proved rapidly that the deshydratation process didn't um, destroy the tannins. So obviously, the pellets are more easy to transport, to mix, and obviously, to imagine the use for mono <coughs> monogastric diets, and we are looking for that. And um, so, obviously, also, also you say that it doesn't grow everywhere, so the, the properties of the sunflower can be used somewhere else, for example, in Germany, where it doesn't grow so well, or in part of France, in Brittany, we try to grow in Brittany some sunflower, because, you know, we've got all our animals in Brittany, and it doesn't work. <laughs> So uh, we built up a very, very strong partnership with INRA through uh, our collaboration uh, with LCA and Legion Plus. And today, we work with more than seven researchers in INRA in different spaces. We have published two theses last year, and we begin a new one concerning rabbits. So why we did that? Like everyone knows in this, uh, in this room, we need to keep value in our farm. The problem of farming in France or in Europe is the same. We need to keep value. So we, we think that uh, if this forage is so good, it could uh, help us to fight the volatility of raw materials because to get the wheat price uh, double or divide by two, sometimes it's not possible anymore. So we, we thought it was also maybe a new step to uh, to begin differently and to integrate the environmental issues that the society has for. And so Zanfsoin is so a uh, fascinating plant that we think we can get many, many uh, opportunities with these plants. Obviously, we need to use legumes in our rotation for better agronomy and to save nitrogen fertilizer. So everything was uh, um, uh, very opportunistic to create a new model. So we started uh, 10 years ago with two hectares on my old farm, and now we've got reached more than 500 hectares, and we hope to reach 1,000 hectares in 2020. So to do that, we were only farmers. We decided to create a very new and innovative organization to um, all, always keep the added value in our farm. So we create a cooperative, which is uh, in charge to deal with uh, farmers, to produce the forage, to produce our seeds with um, an industrial, and we integrate a bee farm. I'm going to talk about that, but everything is integrated in the cooperative. And we build up another company, Multifolia, which is in charge of uh, dealing with the transformation <coughs> in pellets to develop in different areas in France 
and obviously to coordinate the research. So, but we didn't do that by ourselves, and many industrial partners have joined us for this common target, to raise the savoir at the position it diverse. So we are 15 partners around this beautiful adventure in France to go on and to investigate more uh, deeply. So uh, is this feed uh, track from uh, one of our partner, feed partner, we used to distribute in the west of uh, Brittany, some sanfoin. We never use sanfoin pellets, multifolia, in other raw materials. We always include it in very technical program in diets, between five or 15 percent of the diets, because as far as we've got high <coughs> condensing tannin rate, we could have some problem uh, with the breeders. So we do not want to spoil this beautiful plant, and we take care about what we're doing, and we ask to our feed manufacturers to be uh, very technical on the product. So happy animals means happy breeders. We have so many breeders who call them directly to get the product because they know the product by their um, grandfather or people before them, and they are very interesting to get value of this product. So I will not talk about the effect because we have already talked and um, it's very interesting for many, many objects. And we work on all spaces, so dairy, goat, sheep, dairy sheep mainly for to doing rock for. And uh, we do a lot for the very high uh, value production in France. And recently we include in the diet in Beaufort, if you, some people are traveling in France, We've got a very famous in Beaufort in Alps, and we just included in the diets. So we look for added value for breeders. So we have developed many, many applications. So agronomy, obviously, and we would like to go further uh, for our orientation. We develop animal health application, but we begin also to investigate herbal health. Um, it's a quite a new vision and should be very interesting to talk about. So we are very involved with the biodiversity because I have told you um, I've got some problem with deer because when you've got 25 deer in your paddock, you have trouble. So uh, we did some uh, studies with the Environmental Association to, to know what was the impact on the biodiversity. And obviously for the wildlife, there is a, a message <laughs> And they, um, so we need to also to, to, to know how we are going to mix up the, the wildlife uh, satisfaction and uh, the destruction they did, they do. So um, it's very interesting anyway. And regarding environmental issues, you told us um, it's a, the love, pref, love uh, flow of the bees. As far as you are in a, pa, in a San Juan paddock, you can find a lot of bees, a lot of... And so we decide to create a new model for apiculture. Everybody knows here that we import so much honey from China, which usually is not honey, it's a mix of sugar. So probably in Europe, we need to find new way to develop our apiculture and to stop to be crying about the death of the bees. So we've got, we found a solution. But we find also a solution for farmers because you know, with the money of this honey, get back directly to the crop. So the cooperative runs the, the bees, and when we have succeeded to sell the honey, all the money is going back to the crop to keep a very good margin for the farmer. So we think could be a new vision for apiculture tomorrow. So um, obviously, uh, the plant is uh, perfect, fabulous, everything, but it's not so easy to learn um, from two generations. My grandmother used to grow uh, saint foin, but my uh, father is unable to grow saint foin. So we have been obliged to, to try to, to do uh, different things and to rebuild the technical program. So you can see uh, one day we, we were delayed the first cut and you know that San Juan grows very quickly for the first cut. And the plant was taller than me, no protein, and a lot of fiber. 
and uh, big problems. And uh, you know, it was nine tons per hectare, so the plant was completely uh, full of. And uh, so we need to run. We need to understand what's going on. And uh, so the problem is a hill, and it was very interesting to talk about accession. France has lost everything. And uh, we have chosen to work with Agroscope in Switzerland, with Perli. We, we um, could be the best for us in Champagne area regarding the contents and tannins on the hill per hectare. So, uh, but unfortunately, we should have a French accession, but no, nothing more. So uh, we've got not so much productivity. We, sometimes we've got eight ton per hectare, up to 12, but the medium's average uh, hill is 10 ton per hectare, and it provides quite good margin for the farmer. But obviously, in our interest, it to have the pure condensing tannins level in the pellets, so we prefer qualities and quantity. So uh, we've got a lot of questions, and I will be very happy to discuss with you about the perinity, because we do not succeed to have more than three years, because after three years, with the problem of these big machines, we destroy too much. And after we've got a problem with the weed, weed control, and um, probably perli is not enough resistant to this condition. So in the harvest this year, fortunately, it wasn't my paddock, because everything is destroyed, you know, when the weather is not good and the plant is luncheon, we couldn't stop the harvesting, so we need to go on and, you know, have a see the difficulties, you know. Everything is destroyed, we lost so much roots, and the productivity of this paddock should be less and less. Fortunately, it was the president. So. Um, We've got many, many questions, and uh, we ask uh, INRA to find a new project to talk about the fertilization. We do not know so much about fertilization, so we know we do not need fertilizer to grow saint foin, but we would like to understand a little bit more, because, you know, when a farmer, when you come and to see the farmer, so don't worry, do not put fertilizer. He doesn't believe you. So uh, there is a big question for the house scientist. Uh, seed production. We have so uh, much improvement since we've got our own bee farm by 20% results more. So last year, we have been able to achieve by a net, net seed, right? Uh, it was uh, more than 1,200 1, kilos per hectare, which was perfectly well, you know. So, so we think the effect of the four bees is perfect. The owner is perfect and very delicate isn't, but for the seed production is a very good opportunity. So, obviously it's the beginning of beautiful adventure, but what we need, we need to, to have support like in England, and we had the surprise last October to receive the French Minister of Agriculture, who was very interested about our story and what he could, how you could help. So we are waiting still for the money, but we never know. Uh, but it was good she came anyway. And um, so we are very uh, interested to share our experience with different countries to put pressure on the European uh, Commission to be sure that Saint-Fouin should be listed in the European next policy, you know. So we are very cautious about that. And uh, obviously, we are doing some lobbying also on environmental associations. And we get a new prize last year with my positive impact. So it's very important to push people to believe in our story. And obviously, everything for getting more money for our researcher. We would like to investigate so much fields. We need support. And we need also to, to think about the productivity of the plant because I'm not sure like you, in the industrial way, like we designed the Saint-Fouin production in France, we really need productivity. So um, to conclude, I just say, <coughs> it's a real opportunity for Europe to develop a health protein. And it has never been done. And uh, it's probably the vision for Europe to see differently the, the vision of farming tomorrow. 
So uh, let's grow some fun, but let's share our experience together. And I will be very enjoyed to meet your forms this afternoon. Thanks so much for your attention. Thanks very much, Pascal. I mean, that's some fantastically encouraging words.